You guys already know me, I'm always on the lookout for you guys. Ways you can always improve your style and ways and routes you should completely avoid to not mess with your style. So in today's video, here are 10 common ways that men are dressing completely wrong. The first one that comes with your shirt sleeves. I see guys all the time just unbutton their shirt sleeves and just stuff their sleeves all the way up. Well, that's probably not the best way to do so. Not only will your short sleeves start rolling down during the day, it looks messy. Instead, try something a little bit more professional like this roll. All you do is unbutton your shirt, roll your shirt sleeve up to your elbow, and then roll it one more time. Not only will it stay nice and snug around your forearm, you just look way cleaner. Second thing comes with the dress shirt as well. I feel guys just don't know how to wear dress shirts, and it's the muffin top. This happens several ways. One, it's usually guys that maybe feel a shirt's too tight, so after they tuck it in, they pull it out a little bit and they leave a muffin top. Two, they just don't know how to properly tuck in a shirt and they end up with a muffin top throughout the day. Well, this all it does is add visual pounds to your overall image and like before, it's a complete easy fix. Then try something like the military top. Grab the excess fabric on both sides of the shirt, fold them back, tuck it in nicely, wear a good belt, and you should be good to go. Number three, I see this all the time, wearing sunglasses and hats indoors or during the night. Usually indoors, it's just bad etiquette to be wearing either or indoors and it kind of makes you look like a tool. Really, the whole point of both of these items is for functionality. The sunglasses blocks the sun's rays and, and so does the hat. It helps you keep you cooler and more comfortable throughout the day. But if you're already inside, you don't need to be blocking anything off. So just remove your hat and your sunglasses. Number four is not wearing a watch. When I see a guy with an empty wrist, I'm like, man, that's a missed opportunity. That's such an easy way to improve your style. Here I'm wearing a simple t-shirt and I put on a nice Vincero watch and like that, I improve my style. And what I see guys doing wrong all the time is they don't take advantage of that. Jewelry is already hard as it is for men to pull off. So having something that you know that you can wear all the time and makes you look good, why not do it? Which is a great time to mention the sponsor of today's show, which is Vincero Watches. I talk about Vincero Watches all the time because they are amazing. And recently they just dropped a new collection of watches, which I'm completely in love with, guys. If you guys are looking for nice, classy, and dressy watches that just makes any look look amazing definitely check out this new line of Vincero I'm gonna have these guys linked down below with the discount code so you guys can check them out these new watches I'm telling you guys are so beautifully made everything from the beautiful sunburst style the chronograph style the stainless steel construction the Italian leather band when you see this watch in your hand you're gonna be like man this thing looks like a thousand bucks it's not a thousand bucks it's way cheaper so if you guys want a really beautiful watch Check out our sponsor. I'm telling you guys, you're not gonna regret it. The fifth way men are dressing wrong is thinking that leather shoes are only dressy shoes. I see that all the time, but this is a serious way to limit your style. Leather shoes can be worn with jeans, can even be worn with shorts if you're wearing leather loafers. But again, this is a common mistake for every guy. They see leather shoes, oh wait, that's only for boardroom meeting. That's wrong. And with that, number six is the guy that always wears sneakers. And wait, before the sneaker has attacked me, I'm not saying sneakers are bad. Sneakers are great and they make you look amazing. But if you're only wearing sneakers, again, I feel like you're limiting your style. There's other shoe options like Chelsea boots, Chucka boots, leather loafers that can diversify your looks and make you look better. Number seven is a mistake that's gonna happen right now, especially during the summer, and it's the whole sockless look. If you're gonna go sockless, make sure you wear no-show socks. The worst thing you can do is go for that sockless look without wearing socks. Not only are you gonna get horrible blisters if you're wearing leather shoes, your shoes are gonna stink, you're gonna ruin your shoes, you're gonna be sweaty and uncomfortable all day. There's just a myriad of problems. If you want the look, try no-show socks. I'm telling you, they're gonna change your life. Number eight is knowing when to tuck and not tuck your dress shirt. Dress shirts pretty much tell you when you should do this. If your dress shirt is long and passes the length of your wrist, then this is a sign that you should tuck in your dress shirt. On the other hand, if your dress shirt is cropped shorter, usually above your wrist, then this is a clear sign that this shirt can't be worn on top. Number nine, this is a pet peeve, and it's having a flappy collar, especially when it comes to wearing sharp dress suits. If you want to rock a sharp dress suit, I did a whole video on that. A key aspect of that is having your collar stand up straight and looking crisp, especially when you're going tieless. But I see it all the time when flimsy collars just tuck inside the, the suit lapels, makes you look cheap, and just ruins the overall look. Simple fix, 
magnetic collar stays. They'll cost you maybe a dollar on Amazon and it's one of the best investments you can do for your wardrobe. And number 10 is not dressing for the occasion. And this, is com this comes from both ways. You have the guy that always dresses casually and let's say they finally have a, a formal occasion, maybe a job interview or a funeral, and he decides to go there with Chino Sperry's in a polo shirt thinking that's dressy or appropriate for the occasion. And this is something so many men get wrong and I hope that you guys never do. You need to understand the event that you're attending and the dress code that's required for it. So don't be the guy that doesn't know how to dress for the occasion that they've been invited to. All right, boys, that's it for today's video. Those are 10 things that so many guys get wrong. Hopefully you're not committing one of these. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Vincera. I'm gonna have them linked below with that discount code so you guys can check it out. That's it for me today. See you next time.